Pat, can you tell me, based on the indicators to date, is a hard Brexit or a soft Brexit expected at this point? I think that is the, the big known unknown still in the equation. Uh, the Prime Minister in Britain is faced with a number of balances that need to be struck. One is the balance to hold the unity of the United Kingdom in constitutional terms. The other is the balance of forces within her own government between leavers and remainers and then the balance in terms of the population. And into this comes the question of interests. Clearly the city has already spoken about an interest to be as closely connected to Europe's single market as is possible, but others have voted to have less immigration. So how the British will choose to seek to pitch their opening bid remains to be seen. I think the indications uh, so far are that this is not fully resolved and uh, it's, it's uh, rather speculative at this stage. I think economic interest in the end will have a considerable influence. The greater that is, the softer things would be, but we don't yet know. I'd agree. I think from a, from a legal perspective, the key freedoms that underpin access to the European Union bring with them a certain degree of obligation in terms of the uh, extent to which countries are willing to accept uh, certain restrictions. And I think the, the debate really as to whether it's a hard or a soft Brexit, the outcome will depend on how much balance there can be between, on the one hand, Britain getting access to the freedoms, while on the other hand agreeing to give up some of what some of the pro-Brexit campaigners would see as, as restrictions on their ability to make their own decisions. Mm -hmm.